your arrows may not have passed too much, but Mean Gene passed away this week. I'm wondering if uh, you have any great memories uh, of, about him uh, passing away at the mean, age of 76. Mean Gene is an absolute legend. Um, I, I preach to the WWE superstars, never take yourself too seriously. And Gene was an absolute, not only a pro, but he got exactly what we did. And that's, that's Mean Gene from a professional. I think there's, I mean, they broke the mold when they, you know, when they made Gene, he's truly one of a kind. He's uh, from a professional standpoint, he's an absolute legend from a personal standpoint. He was a close friend and we shared a, a lot of time together. He used to golf at a, a club down in Sarasota, which was a, just an awesome situation. And if uh, anyone ever stumbles across that uh, to be named nameless club right now, because I want to protect the innocent yes. and finds himself playing 18 holes, just ask for an Oakland. He had his own drink at the bar and, uh, <laughs> I, I may have spent many a night with Gene in that uh, one clubhouse uh, drinking Oakland's all night, just telling stories. What he was in that? Honestly, he, he, he really was uh, just, he loved what he did and he loved life. And he had, he just had a, 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 you know, he loved to play golf and he loved to hang out. Like that was his thing. He just wanted to be around people. And uh, I remember so many, so many fond nights with Gene and, and so many fond stories. But as a, as a professional, I think, you know, the work we do kind of defines who we are. And there was, there won't be one like Gene Oakland. He was awesome. What, what was in that? Uh, what was in that concoction? Can you tell? Do you know? If you if you ever ask for it, you'll find out. Uh, he, I, I almost want to. Ah, what the hell? So, go for it. Gene, uh, Gene, you know, Gene you know, likes to drink vodka, and he was a vodka cranberry man. So, if you order an Oakland, it's a 16 ounce foam solo cup filled to the brim with ice, <laughs> also filled to the brim with vodka of your choice. I prefer Sky. Thank you for the uh, okay. uh, Sky campaign. Okay, and uh, they whisk. They whisper the word cranberry over it, put the lid on it, and hand it to you. <laughs> whisper the word. I love <laughs> yeah, it literally is the most clear pinkish hue of vodka cranberry <laughs> I've ever seen in my entire life. And uh, to play to play 18 with Gino and have a couple of Oaklands, it was just a, a wonderful, relaxing day where you could just uh, you know escape the, the the daily grind. And man, he I was lucky enough to share a bunch of those moments with him, and I'm grateful for every one of them. Yeah, and he was just uh, I mean, he was such a face a face front person in the history of the sport and obviously the entertainment platform. It was just sad to see. It was just sad to hear about it. You know. Yeah, it's, it's certainly, I'm, uh, I'm like everybody, kind of mourning the loss. And uh, I, I, you know, he lived a wonderful life, and I choose to, uh, I choose to remember the good times I've had with him and, and the, great. the great work he's done. So uh, we, we lost a legend, and there'll never be another. But uh, I'm, I'm very grateful for having known him, for sure. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.